What's up Tim KBA, One Take Traveler here back again with another video in the Last Shelter universe. This is season 5, week 7, the final week of Eden Dissidio for me in my first Essex season. And with that, we have the final cycle of S4 heroes in the token shop. So we're going to talk about them now. As we knew from last token shop refresh cycle, it was and is now confirmed Caesar and the sex machina uh, very strong pairing of s4 heroes so if you find yourself having already some copies of them um, they are great ones to pick up provided you have the hero tokens and also bearing in mind token management for sx heroes when they eventually ro start to rotate in the token shop like before you can expect 800 hero tokens to be picked up every two week uh, refresh cycle like always uh, any pre-SX hero in the token shop will cost you 2,400 tokens whereas SX heroes going forward will cost you 3,000 so just bear that in mind with your token management uh, there will be a couple of weeks in between uh, for you to build up those hero tokens again from when they start rotating which we don't know yet now in terms of these heroes Caesar is for vehicles and this X Machina is for shooters Let's talk about each one of them and whether you should pick them up. So this is currently my Caesar. Uh, he is pretty developed and is actually here. I am personally going to pick up in the token shop. Having used him in most of my formations, primarily with Vanguard and Countdown in the mid row until he's able to be awakened. Uh, he can be in the front and mid row of vehicle APCs and is a great counter type of hero to add and is a great counter type of hero to either this arm or silence or when they're both overlaid suppress an enemy uh, to very high skill activation levels he's not one that does any kind of damage but is definitely an enemy debuff of sorts especially his skill 8 and overall i find him a great addition to any kind of apc if you are lacking that kind of counter or you have heroes that take advantage of those counter effects such as organic in SX. Uh, a quick look at his skills, Code Stairs a prep skill uh, for the first three turns of battles, 80% chance to disarm two enemy squads in range. Activates very high and the fact is two enemies is great. First three turns, first three turns is also very powerful for those that like to front load a lot of damage um, and is more focused around basic troop attacks such as the Panther, Anna, uh, Ivanov, or just anything that's just highly basic troop attack focused, such as shooters with Rose Noir, Tracker, Nomad, and so forth. Skill 5 Kamikaze is that skill that is going to activate for the rest of battle. It is a one ton prep, 30% chance to silence two random enemy squads. Uh, so this skill is focused around uh, silencing combat skills. And it does last for two turns, which is great, uh, which means if this does activate uh, often, uh, then it could provide full silence for the entire battle. That's kind of the maximum amount. It is a combat skill, however, so it can be countered, which means putting him in the mid row is going to give you a bit more protection uh, from, from that. Uh, but either way, silencing combat skills, great counter for the other side of APCs uh, that are more combat skill focused whether that's going to be Hummingbird uh, Nomad for shooters, Scarlet Siren for fighters or even with vehicles themselves disarming for minimal troop loss uh, when you are hitting tiles just to preserve your troops especially in Eden if you have a lot of uh, combat uh, base hits like tile wars um, then troop management is also important. Uh, finally, skill 8, Solar V8, is a prep skill, so it just activates before uh, the turn of battle. Enemy squads might minus 60%, resistance minus 60%, combat speed minus 100, and uh, an effective like 10% uh, buff on damage taken, damage dealing, uh, 
addition and reduction. Um, kind of one dimensional in his approach, but he does them very well and to, to high effect. Uh, awakening, he does have a 100 vehicle combat speed. Uh, so with everything else equal, he has the same amount of combat speed as Panther, Ivanov, uh, slightly less than Vanguard and uh, Major Arna but it's going to have a leg up on any other heroes that doesn't have any combat speed buffs. And then finally, he has a might for, for, for heroes formation. So that is Caesar. Should you pick up tokens for him? I will say yes, provided you have at least two copies uh, from my side. I still think even if you have one, it's going to be more of a longer term development and it really depends on who you are focused on developing uh, pre-SX um, whether that's in regards to, to Doomsday or not but if you are lacking a kind of a, an additional front row even mid row support Caesar is a, a great pickup pre-SX that's still relevant in SX season so for Caesar I would say yes and with that I'm also gonna pick him up Boom. Let's go ahead and get his fragments combined. Yeah, yeah. Sweet. And where's my Caesar? There we go. Finally get him awakened. And I'm pretty much using him right now, so I'm just gonna connect him out. Sweet. That felt good. <laughs> um, so that is Caesar. Next one up we're gonna talk about is Dos Ex Machina. Again, he is a great front row shooter. There's not many alternatives pre-SX um, or even in SX actually for shooters. So Dos Ex Machina is also an excellent pickup. If you already have him available, um, I'm not picking him up pretty much because I don't have any copies of him and I'm more focused on, on Caesar. But if I did and he and it would have made him usable, then I would have said yes. This X Machina kind of plays a similar role to Caesar for shooters, um, but it's just much more adept in terms of his enemy debuffs. He also possesses healing recovery and is just going to provide that nice protection to your mid and back row shooters. And like I say, in terms of alternatives to front rows, you don't really have that many. Uh, there is Wings of Liberty in season three. Um, but other than that, you do have Koshe, who is going to be the defensive alternative and successor to this Ex Machina in Essex. Um, and S2 heroes are primarily mid and back row. So um, if you already have him, he is a great pickup definitely want to get him usable because he is still very much effective in sx and skill 2 burnt bridges status skill just a straight up damage reduction minus 30 percent i like this because it's just for the entire battle it's not for the first three turns or anything like that so as soon as battle occurs damage retake damage taken is minus 30. skill 5 heaven's rage is a prep skill when two random enemy squads within range cast combat skills or do basic attacks, their damage is minus 5%. This effect can stack up to 8 times. Again, a very good enemy debuff uh, sort of effect activates from the turn of battle. And considering it's also two enemy squads, that is really good. This will also stack up very quickly as it takes both combat skills or basic troop attacks and it will hit a maximum of minus 40% damage. So once this stacks up and the Burnt Bridges uh, debuff, you're already looking at minus 70% damage. Well, and equally to the kind of uh, enemy debuff numbers you will also see in SX Heroes, um, on the top of my head, Organic also has a minus 70% uh, damage reduction. Uh, if any of your squad is in a uh, countered state. Awakening is plus 50% on HP, which is great since shooters generally have the lowest HP numbers. And then chase down is your healing recovery skill is great because again, it is a, a prep. 
it is for the first three turns so it's uh, not one of the best type of healing skills um Koshay's is more consistent but it does uh, really reduce the amount of damage numbers uh, in APCs that front load output to the first three turns like your Valkyrie, Patriot, Inquisitor or Setup, uh, even just those that are very front loaded um, like Huntress, uh, Death Rider and Ivanov, any of those that are really high damage dealing, um, then he is going to provide Healing recovery, 45%, which is decent, uh, but again, any kind of healing for shooters is always welcome. He is a great pickup. Again, costs the same amount, 2,400 hero tokens, and provided you do have Dus Ex Machina, I would say having two copies is ideal and above, so you're either just going to be missing one skill or he will be maxed. If you only have a single copy... It's a tough one, again, really depends on where you're focused or where you are lacking. You kind of want to take that into consideration. Um, and may not be as worth it to just pick up his second. But again, if you are looking to focus on the Sex Machina, then, then it might be alright. Or you just have a healthy stack of hero tokens and you can kind of pick both up. Um, then no problem, but this is the final S4 hero tokens in the season. Great pair. So that was Juggernaut and Hummingbird in group 1, Commissar and Venom Walker in group 2, and then Caesar and the Sex Machina in group 3. That wraps up the video. If you liked it, give a big thumbs up. If you haven't yet, join the Team KBA community by subscribing to my YouTube channel and check out onetechtraveler.com for more stories, articles and videos around tech travel and gaming. I'll see you in the next one, but until then, keep being awesome. Peace.